All right, we're going to talk today a little bit about uh, the new iPads. Um, so new iPads, we're going to be releasing out uh, Lieutenant Milliken and Firefighter Mashburn to run around today, the 23rd, to drop these out. Um, so a little, we want to go over uh, a little, uh, a little bit about them, just so that they not don't show up on the trucks and folks don't know what's their intended purpose. So first off, um, these are going to be run straightly off of Verizon. Um, there's not going to be any Wi-Fi connection um, typically used on them. You can hook them to Wi-Fi, but they're um, primarily going to be used off of Verizon. So they should work as fast as as a phone, um, which is going to be good for using applications like Image Trend or PS Tracks. Um, this is also part of a field trial, so we do not have um, the iWatch or Overwatch software put on these yet. Uh, that is coming here in the next few days from uh, ITS, I'm told. Um, that was the delay in getting these things released, but uh, we wanted to go ahead and get them out and make sure that they're working, um, and then ITS is going to put on that additional information. Uh, what that software is going to do is allow you to not download anything additional. Uh, it's going to pretty much shut down the iPad only for official purposes. So at this point, again, that is not currently on there. So uh, do not download anything on here. Do not sign in with your own uh, Apple ID if you have one. Uh, we will get an email if you download anything, and we also get an email if anybody logs out of them. Um, so we will know, we are watching them. Uh, we also see what uh, internet sites, anything else that is being uh, accessed on these. Uh, also, I do have uh, Lieutenant Milliken and Mashburn here with me. Uh, they're gonna help keep me straight, make sure uh, if I perhaps say something that is uh, not clear, they help me uh, keep everything clear and concise. Um, again, these are for official use only, so uh, the intended purposes are gonna be pretty much for uh, image trend and then PS tracks. We have some other apps on here too. We'll explain those here in just a minute. Um, but again, that software is coming. Uh, I'm gonna follow this short video up with an email that does uh, put some of these other stipulations um, to writing. So. Um, everybody does know that, uh, that what the expectation is for these. Again, primary purpose is for PS tracks and image trend, and um, it's only for official use only, so no fantasy football, no don't downloading games or any other apps. Um, again, you will need a, a sign-on for those, and, and if for whatever reason you can't access that, that is uh, absolutely not the intended purpose or use of these iPads. Um, again, these run directly through Verizon, so it's not going to come through any city uh, uh, server, so they should be fairly quick. Um, so talking a little bit just care of the iPad, these are the Apple uh, iPad Pro 10.5. These are the brand new iPads. Uh, they have the fastest processor for running some of these uh, web applications. So again, uh, they should hopefully meet our need now. Um, they are in a, in a case, um, and it does have a tempered glass screen protector on here. However, um, they are not ruggedized. They are not meant to be tossed or thrown. Um, the screen can and will crack. Um, so again, we want to take good care of these things. They are not waterproof. Um, there's some built-in water resistance, but um, you can see the access ports, the speakers, the charging port, they're still wide open. So um, if you're getting out in the pouring rain, probably not a good idea to bring this out. Um, just think about how you would handle it with your device um, that doesn't have a life-proof case. Um, we did talk about a life-proof case. Um, the discussion was is that long-term, the charging port breaks off. We talked about a tripod. We were told that they eventually they just get crushed. And we talked about a handle um, we also heard that those eventually just rip off. So the best way to go um, from the folks that we talked to who are using these in the street was just to go with just a case. Um, and eventually, we will know that we're going to need to look at other cases. If anybody has recommendations for cases, um, we'd be interested in those. Again, the, the expected primary use is going to be for PS tracks and image trend for, for field reporting and also for truck checkoffs. Uh, as far as accessing um, this, again, we want you to make sure it's charged up. Um, but then when you come in, your sign on this iPad. We do have eye tracker on there, or the I lost my iPhone or whatever, so we can track uh, where it's been, where it's at. Um, so we, we do have those things. Again, we don't want you to lose them, but that is something that we, we do have as a backup. So primarily once you're in here, um, we put these, the primary things we want to use down here at the bottom. So go ahead and access image trend. Now, a couple things that we heard that uh, will slow these things down. You can see here, if you have multiple windows open, that's going to slow this process down. So um, every time you hit that button down here, it's going to open up a new window. So if you, if it seems like it's running slow, go ahead and come in here and just close out some of these uh, multiple windows that are logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my image trend, and it's going to be your standard login. So once I'm in, um, this will be your 
your site. Yours probably looks just a tad different than mine because I'm an administrator for the site. However, once you're in, um, you'll go, you pick out your incident, and you can just run it like you normally would. Um, one of the new things that we did add in here, and I have it in the test environment for Image Trend, but we're going to be implementing it into the, the real environment, hopefully um, in the next day or two, um, is you can take a driver's license, um, and if you flip it around to the back side, you see this barcode here. Um, and if anybody's run calls with EMS and seen them do this, uh, you can do the exact same thing. Um, once my report pops up here, um, then you're going to go into the patient demographic section. Uh, it's good that if you do this in an area where there's uh, good lighting and um, and you have the driver's license laid down on a flat surface, so that way you're not trying to hold it in your hand and it's moving around, it's hard to capture. So you go here to patient data, you go here to driver's license 2D scanner. So right under patient data, this top button here, go ahead and tab tag that. Now there's a thing in here called uh, Elite Utilities. All you do is click open and we'll show you this here on the back side um, but you don't uh, you don't actually access that. And then all you do is you just hover this over over that driver's license and it captures the data. And then it's going to go ahead and pop up all that information for you. You can review it and you just click OK and it'll import it um, directly into your report. You can see it, it's already done that and the patient information. If for whatever reason, I've seen a couple of these that pops up with a, a Fort Myers address when it's really a Cape Coral address. Uh, you can go here and click set from postal code and it'll go ahead and change that address from Fort Myers to Cape Coral if that's an issue. Um, other than that, it's the standard, uh, standard process. Uh, you can pull down your CAD data. Um, again, we are, we are seeing some pretty good, uh, good times here. Um, with pulling this information down from CAD. Um, again, because it's not going through the city server, it seems to be pretty quick. Um, there are a few features on here that um, if you have questions, just pass them up the chain of command. Um, there's a few things that we're not going to talk about on here. Uh, not that it's a huge security risk, but there's a few things that we don't want, to, as this is going out on YouTube, we don't want general public to know about. Um, Go ahead and delete this one. Anything else you guys think about I missed on image trend other than st standard reporting? Uh, again, lieutenants can use this to check off uh, with uh, reports. Um, but I think that ID feature is going to be uh, a good add on. Microphone dictating reports. Oh, yes. <clears throat> yeah. That's a good one. Uh, Lieutenant Milken brought up a good point. Um, when you get in here to your report, let me go ahead and pull one back up. Um, the guys at Station 2 had uh, field trial this for a little bit. Um, they were in here in the report and they would go under narrative and when you click on the narrative there's a microphone button here just like in a, on a standard iPad and you can click this and you can enable dictation. Uh, patient was loaded onto the stretcher and transported by Lee County EMS. And you can see it goes ahead and types that out for you. Now you're going to want to, and it keeps on doing it until I hit done. Um, I would recommend going, obviously, go ahead and read through here and make sure it's accurate. Um, we've all seen some of the uh, autocorrect uh, memes. So we want to go through here and just make sure it's, it's accurate to what you wanted it to say. But it should hopefully speed this process up, especially on a mobile device as you're going to or from a call that could uh, hopefully speed up your, your narrative and also make it a little more detailed. Thanks for that. Let's see. Rid of you. Anything else you guys think about on image trend? Yeah. Again, and the uh, the power tools here off to the side. If you're putting in vital signs, um, it's very touch touch screen friendly. All right, now PS tracks is pretty much the same way. Um, it's pretty much as the um, once you click on that button on the bottom, it's going to take you into this login screen. Uh, then you would log in with your information. Now once you're in, um, you're going to get to your, your home screen and you're going to be able to access all the information and go through and do your check off. Um, and hopefully that, that speeds up the process, um, being able to have these out in mobile. Uh, the plan is that every unit will have one. So for instance, we're here at Station 2, Engine 2 will have one, Rescue 2 will have an iPad and you'll be able to, uh, to use that. Anything else on? PS tracks, it's pretty pretty straightforward, right? Um, all right, so moving away from uh, from PS tracks and uh, an image trend, there's a few other things that we've loaded on here. Um, now, if there is an app that you do want to see put on the iPads, uh, pass that up the chain of command. We can add it uh, with this new software that's coming out. This uh, that we're going to add on to these, um, we can we're going to have one image for the fire department. So, 
what I can do is we can go on there and we can say we want to add this app or we need to update this app, whatever that may be. And uh, we put it on one computer and it pushes it out um, wirelessly to everybody. There's your license back, by the way. Thank you. Um, all right, so a few things on here. Obviously, we kept on a calendar. We just thought that would be a, a positive thing to have. Uh, photos. There is a, a, a photo bank in here for photos taken on the device. Um, and then there is some, some photos. Again, um, I don't know if I need to talk about proper photo etiquette. Um, again, there's, again, this is all going to be linked through the cloud, so wireless. Um, there are appropriate photos and there are inappropriate photos. Um, everybody knows what the interpretation of that is or should be. Um, however, if you're all, you are on an event and you do decide you want to take a photo, I'd recommend taking it on this because if you take it on your personal device, if for whatever reason it comes up as a um, oh, traffic homicide, something like that, crime scene, uh, and we need to get a hold of, of that device, um, now we have a city device, not your personal device. So again, um, Andrea has released some information um, about proper photos that we want taken. Um, again, no patients, no identifiable things, not inside a patient's home, et cetera. Um, we're looking at general things, maybe the vehicle accident once the patient's been extricated, um, maybe outside of a fire, whatever those kind of things are. Uh, again, we want those, you can take them on this device, you can plug that into the station computer and then email it up to Andrea. Um, we would want to filter those before anybody uses them for personal use. We want to make sure that uh, the department approves of those photos. Keeps you out of trouble because um, you may not see everything that's in that photo. You may not know that that fire is being investigated for arson and uh, the fire marshal has, uh, has good concern over those things. So again, please uh, uh, just make sure that's passed up the chain for us to filter through. Uh, there's also a clock on here. We also thought that was good. Um, you can set alarms or you can set a, a stopwatch or a timer um, for any of those kind of situations. Uh, a notepad, just general, general stuff, the settings. Uh, we did leave Safari on here. Um, again, if you do need to Google something, again, appropriate Google searches. Um, this is not for checking fantasy football scores. Uh, I am winning this week, though. Um, this, uh, this allows you to get some information. We understand we live in a digital age and that this is, uh, you know, an access of the information on the Internet is huge. And um, we, again, we prefer people do this on, on our device rather than your personal device. Uh, Google Maps is also available on here. This could be great for um, looking at satellite maps uh, of your area. Uh, you can change that if you want to go to that satellite map versus a uh, just street level map, um, which is something I prefer. Um, you can also do a, um, you see the little microphone up here. Um, a lot of folks were using this for turn by turn direction. So if you get a call, um, I rest injured two just went on a call. so. You can say uh, 3806 Southwest 15th Avenue. You hit the button, start, and it's off and run. It's giving you directions that quick. And it's based off of the current location of this iPad. So uh, again, that's pretty, pretty accurate, just like your phone. Uh, anything else on that one? No, and again, you can pull in and you can look at um, different areas of the city. If you're looking at, uh, you know, potentially uh, a missing person, a, a marine call if you get the call across the street from the canal, that kind of kind of situation. Um, even a structure fire, you might be able to look in and, and get a basic uh, idea of what that what that uh, structure looks like. I think that'll be a useful, useful tool. Uh, Google Translate, here's another good one. Um, it does a variety of different languages. You can scroll through here, the options. Uh, German, Spanish, probably a, a primary two. So for instance, right now I have it going from English to Spanish. You just hit this. Do you want to go to the hospital? And it spits it out in, uh, in Spanish. And then when they would talk back to you in Spanish, you can flip it around so they can speak Spanish to you and it comes back in English. Again, useful tool. Um, you know, we'll have to check the, how, how it works in a real life application. But at a worst case scenario, at least it's something. Uh, weather bug. On here we talked about, uh, uh, especially for training and, and uh, other events, it's got uh, right here, it shows your last lightning strike and how far it was from your location. Sorry, the reflection here. Um, so that'll be good if you get in a situation where we're worried about lightning popping off uh, too close to where we're training. It gives some basic wind speed information, time, temperature. Um, and then you can also click on this and get your uh, an overall radar view. In addition to that weather app, we've also added weather underground. Um, this is one that gives you a little bit more of a long distance piece, but also gives you a, a, a time estimate for the percentage of precipitation, wind speeds, uh, that kind of information. Again, you can also get a radar from this also. 
Uh, moving over, we also have YouTube. Um, again, training videos like this one or other videos that we're going to uh, have, or if you want to look at a Denver drill, for instance, and there's a good YouTube video, you can have this out in the bay and do that with your crew while you're working on it. Um, again, appropriate use of the YouTube um, is, is always uh, advised. Um, and then you're going to see down here we have a couple. We have hazmat, medical, and marine. Um, again, if there's other specific ones you'd like to see in here, let us know. We'll add them. But here in the in the uh, the hazmat one, you can see we have a, a variety of E plan, the ERG, um, Wiser, some of these other pieces. So you can click on this, and it, it's basically that uh, ERG uh, just in a digital format. And you can flip through and and look at you know whatever chemical it is that you want to you want to look at. Um, moving over to the medical side, of course, this is this uh, Elite Utilities. This is the one that allows you to take the image of the driver's license. Um, but again, if you click on it, it does nothing. It says in here that it's designed to be used in image trend. So if you see this, it does nothing. Uh, this drugs.com, um, this is a good one. Um, it has a med list in here, so you can look at uh, patient medications that they might have, uh, their interactions, contraindications, uh, side effects. Uh, it's also got a pill identifier on here, so if somebody says, I took these, you can go look at those and see what those, uh, um, what kind of pill it is, potentially. And then, of course, we also have the protocol on here, um, so you can access that to, to refresh uh, on the protocol if, if you need. Uh, and then on the marine side, um, we have uh, this iBoating piece, um, which is going to give you um, some basic waterway information. It's going to let you know where the markers are. Um, you can kind of see in here. Uh, basic navigation, uh, this is not by any means designed for you to navigate any of our marine vessels. Um, with this, we have we spent lots of money on a good radar system and, and navigation in those boats. Uh, however, um, redundancy, and then also if you're looking at this in advance of a trip, um, this might be a good way for you to, to get a look at that. Uh, we've also got a tide chart in here, um, which shows you your tides based off your location for high low tide, uh, the next upcoming tides. Uh, and then the other piece that's not currently on this one is the MERT maps. Um, we can download those. You can click on it. So if you've been assigned to um, tile D57, you know which area that is in. Uh, other than that, we have a bunch of uh, the other utility stuff here shoved on this back page. Um, that's just a you know place for all this other other stuff. Eventually, when uh, again that new software gets put on there, that's all going to go away. But we try to put everything here on this home screen for you. Um, other things you can look at is if you, for whatever reason, you have a bunch of stuff open, this could also slow it down. If you're not used to an Apple product, you just push them up to get rid of them. Um, that'll help it uh, run a little quicker. Um, anything else, guys? All right. Again, that new system, uh, that new software that's going to come over is going to be coming out soon. But in the meantime, we hope that this is going to speed up a lot of processes, solve some problems, and, and hopefully uh, result in a better product for you guys out in the street. Um, the tablets right now are going to remain um, for, for the next little bit. We are talking about repurposing them, uh, but we're looking to make sure that this is going to work out for us. Um, and then we'll get to that uh, here in the near future. All right. Thank you.